we got a new hotfix patch is coming in today as well as some exciting new updates you can expect this week let's talk before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cut It Nerds Press Play. All you have to do be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys. Um, CIG just dropped a hotfix patch into the hotfix channel. And um, once everything goes well, it will then be propagated into the live build. So now there's two types of fixes that they implemented in this one. Um, there's the client side fixes, which I think some of these are crucial. And then there's also server side. So under the client side, they fixed uh, the 32 SEU crates uh, can clip through the freight elevators of the hangars in Virginia Point. They fixed an issue where party markers are not visible to other party members. This is crucial. It was super annoying. Hopefully this fix actually remain fixed regarding the atlas the crosshair can get in a state where it does not update its position the freight manager kiosk icon scale excessively large at 4k the research area warning sometimes show incorrectly for atlas they also fix an issue where vehicles cannot move up or down only rotate and um, this is regarding the Atlas tractor beam. And they also fix an issue where when using uh, the slash command in mode glass, it will result in a crash to desktop. So now those are the client side fixes and they will go in immediately. So now on the server side, which may take some time to propagate over to the shards, it says here they fix an issue with some mission markers not appearing. They fix an issue where the Atlas will now be correctly impounded uh, and or receive appropriate crime stat for blocking hangar exits and, and spawning of ship and vehicles. They fix an issue if on a vehicle and interacted with an ASOP uh, in a hangar, you can bypass the ship's elevator animation and spawn or store the ship instantly. Interesting. Uh, they fix an issue where entering a ship while it is being stored will not remove the layer along with this is two server crash fixes as well as a server dead lock fix all right so now those are the server side fixes um hopefully this goes in um into live immediately uh at least shortly after um this thing goes into the hot fix uh channel all right so now we have some exciting stuff that we can expect this week okay so this very week cig intends to enable the blockade runner global event um, so we can expect that hopefully it goes well i really will want to try it out and just to see how this thing fully plays out i haven't had the chance to fully see the entire thing so uh, i like to see that so now this will happen tuesday which is today and then on wednesday we can expect roadmap update as well as roadmap roundup um, which is super exciting hopefully we'll hear more about uh, star citizen 4.0 features being added into the release view okay so now on thursday we can expect an exciting episode for inside star citizen engineering all right we're gonna get to see engineering gameplay at least for what we'll see when 4.0 drops um at least at that state it seems like uh they're gonna give us some insight on how it's everything's gonna play out so i can expect we can expect some updated uis and and um gameplay implications uh in this episode so i'm really excited for that i think we're gonna get um i think it's gonna be a really interesting episode all right all right so that's what we're gonna expect for this week before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries now recruited new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one